Okay, I put all my caddy stuff away except for two items because I want to show you something that I purchased. In the last video, I mentioned how I couldn't find, well, not couldn't find it. On the Olay site, they did not have the Miracle Boost concentrate. It's been out of stock for like probably at least a month now, I want to say. So I went on Amazon to find it and I did. And you know, if you've been on Amazon, it'll show you recommend this or other people who purchased this looked at this. And so I saw um, a line called Progenics. Has any of you ever heard of Progenics? I have never heard of Progenics. And so I started looking at their items and they have, and I wrote down prices here. There's, there's a method to my madness here. They had a three set of vitamin C, retinol, and collagen. And for the set, it was $28.99. Yeah, the collagen by itself is $14.92. Hoping I don't drop anything. <laughs> the retinol by itself, um, it, ha it goes, it comes through different sellers if you buy it individually. But the one that popped up first was $9.92 plus $4.95 shipping and handling, so it was $14.87 if you just want the retinol. And the vitamin C by itself was $14.99. So if you purchased all three of these individually, it would be $44.78. But if you purchased the set, it was $28.99. What makes sense to you? You can see what made sense to me. The reason I purchased this was the collagen was iffy. Okay, but what I really wanted to see was would my face like this vitamin C? Because I use the Peter Thomas Roth vitamin C and it does tell you what percentage of vitamin C is in it, which is 20%. This doesn't say how much is in it, but I'm like, if it's not 20%, does my face really need 20%? I don't know. This sucker is $98. It's one fluid ounce. All of these are also one fluid ounce. $98. I only buy it on sale, and also I use my rewards points at Sephora. This shit is expensive. My skin likes it though. And I keep thinking, okay, I'm not going to keep purchase, purchasing it, but my skin likes it. I have sensitive skin. I have temperamental skin. I'm allergic to different things. I have eczema still going on around my nose. I get dry patches on my chin and redness. And so because my skin likes it, I'm like, okay, I'll wait for a 20% off sale and buy it. So I'm like, if this works as well for $14.99, <laughs> I could be like, see you later, Peter. <laughs> $14.99, $98. Right. Okay. The retinol in this set, as, as I said, if you buy it individually, is $14.89. I used the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM Night Serum. This is $65. Again, I only buy it when it's on sale or when Sephora has a sale, and I usually save up points for it as well. So I get the 20% off. And I go through Rakuten, which varies between like 2% and 12% off. And I use rewards points. $65. $14.87. <laughs> so even if these two work, <laughs> this will be what, 30 bucks? And for 30 bucks, I can just get the collagen too. And if my skin doesn't like the collagen, just give that away. I'm still saving a hell of a lot of money. So these two together, Peter's Vitamin C and the Retinol, not on sale, $163, $28.99. And you have your Retinol and your Vitamin C. So also, well before I do that, let me back up. I'm going to show you the bottles. The bottles are gorgeous. I love the packaging. This is the Vitamin C. This is the bottle. Y'all, if you, if you guys are package chores, which I'm not, this is like a frosted glass bottle. Look at that. I'm just like, this is so pretty. <laughs> it does have a pump and all of these are the same, but it only fills up. Even if I push this pump and it is hard for me to push the pump. So I have to like put my thumb underneath it and hold the pump all the way down. So if I put it in and let the pump go, 
when I take it back out, it's only up to here, which may be all you need. And then you squeeze it into your hand and wipe it on your face. But look at how pretty this is. <laughs> so that's the vitamin C one. <laughs> and all of them are color coded. The retinol, the red one, these, these are just so pretty. And as I said, I'm not a package whore, but I'm just like, they really package as well. And this is the collagen. I've never heard of Progenix. Let me know, please, if you have heard of this brand <laughs> on Amazon or from anywhere else. I, I don't know. And so the vitamin C says, I'm reading a box, use every morning. On the box it says use every morning. And on the bottle it says use every morning. Apply to cleans and dry skin evenly a.m. before moisturizing. So these say the same, the box and this says the same, use in the morning. The Peter Thomas Roth one says you can use at night and in the morning, I believe. And that's what I've been doing. Yeah, the Peter one says use twice a day. So this vitamin C one, you just use in the morning. All right, let me not get confused with what's going on here. The retinol, I just had to match the colors. The retinol on the box says yada, 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 every night before bed. And the same with Peter. It's, and it says on here, Fusion PM Night Serum. So it is for night. So on the box, it says use at night. On the bottle, it says use in a PM. If redness, if redness occurs, reduce frequency. All right, so that's the retinol. These bottles are so cute. Like, th this packaging is just... Please let me know if you have heard of this brand. I've never heard of it. And I took a chance because I wanted to try the vitamin C and the retinol because, as I said, that would save me a lot of money. A lot. The retinol, not the retinol, the collagen, which I'm like, eh, do I need collagen? Like, my, my face is fat anyway. I'm just like, I don't know. But anyway... <laughs> On the box, it says, maybe apply daily, day or night. On the bottle, it says AM and PM. And all of these you apply before your moisturizer. So again, the box says day or night, the bottle says AM and PM. That's the only one. And so that's why I went through what the box said and the bottle said because one said different. So I purchased that set. Then I saw this pretty ass box. I'm not a package whore, I swear I'm not. I'm not. This is 24K Golden Caviar Anti-Wrinkle Face Serum. Concentrated anti-wrinkle serum targets fine lines, expression lines, and rough dry skin. Okay, it's rough and dry around here. I got eczema. <laughs> And this is what that bottle looks like. And they all have the same kind of pump. Oh my God, look at that. I mean, it looks luxurious. And it's not, but it's, it's packaged like it is and it feels like it is. This costs $14.99 on its own and it did not come in any set or anything. And for, I believe all of the ones I've showed you, they also have a cream, a vitamin C cream, a retinol cream, a collagen cream. They have this serum in the cream, but I'm like, I'm okay with my Olay moisturizers, and so I didn't even want to venture off into that. But this on the box says, use morning and evening. And on the bottle, it says, use morning and evening. So the only one that says different is the collagen. The box says morning, what did it say? <laughs> Yeah, the box says morning or night, and the bottle says morning and night. So, something I never do, which I did, I <laughs> exfoliated my face one night and just put on moisturizer and left my skin alone. Because I just wanted just my skin to just be whatever it was going to be. And then the next night, I washed my face regular. I put on my eye serum, my eye cream, and I used the Olay uh, Miracle Boost Concentrate. And then I use all four of these new products. I know better, because when I try anything new, I try one new thing at a time, 
And even with <laughs> like Peter's vitamin C serum, I washed my face, put this on. I didn't put anything else on on my face because I wanted to see what my face was going to look like when I woke up that next day. And that's how I do new products. I'll put it on and put on nothing else, not even moisturizer, nothing. And <laughs> I use all three of these. I put the vitamin C on. <laughs> I put the retinol cream on with a retinol serum. I put on the collagen and I waited maybe like a minute or two in between because it says clean dry faces. So I was letting the previous serum dry down a little bit. And then I put on the 24K one. And I'm thinking if I wake up like a pumpkin the next day, <laughs> I won't know which one it was. But I woke up the next day and my face was a little red. You see my cheeks are red still. It looks like right here, it looks like I have blush on. Like this entire area is red. I have like some bumps here. Let me back up real quick. I used all of these one night and then the next night I did not. And then the third night I used them all again. And the same here, like all of this is just red. I have some redness here. This is new. My chin usually is red, but I could almost swear it had cleared up, but this got red again. And even though my forehead looks not red, I was going to say clear, but when I feel it, there's like little bumps all over my forehead. And so I started looking at the ingredients. <laughs> and this one, the, the 24K Gold and Caviar, has fragrance in it even though it's way down on the list i'm wondering if that's what it is because i do have problems with fragrance and products my skin doesn't like it and so i'm going to take a night off i am going to use one of the alpha beta pills tonight clean my face and just use my regular serums none of this new stuff just use my regular stuff do my regular routine and maybe do that for two days and then go back to these products but not the 24k golden caviar then i'll use the vitamin c again with the retinol and the collagen and see what happens i know i can hear you guys saying dion troll honey child just use one at a time and see what your skin does instead and you're breaking out you'll know you'll know which one it is if that's not what you were thinking comment below because i'm hearing i'm hearing something here maybe it's an auditory hallucination i don't know but <laughs> i'm not really thinking it's a vitamin c because i've been using vitamin c i'm not thinking it's the retinol because i've been using retinol I haven't been using collagen, so I mean, I don't know. However, even though I've been using vitamin C and retinol, that does not mean that there may not be other ingredients in either one of these bottles that my skin may not be liking. I do understand that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cleanse my face, exfoliate, take a day off from the new stuff, just stick to the old stuff. And then tomorrow night, I'll cleanse my face, wash it, Put on my regular eye, eye serum, eye cream, the Olay serum. And then I will use these three products again and see what happens. If my face ends up red again, or if my forehead did, did not clear up, then I will stop using the collagen. Because this is the only new product that I've been using, period. And it says rapid plumping formula softens fine lines. My face is plump enough. That's why my like, do I need collagen? So I think I'm not going to use this at all anyway. I'm just going to try again the vitamin C and the retinol. And hopefully it works because, as I said in my previous video, it will save me a hell of a lot of money. And in this video, I've said it will save me a hell of a lot of money. And so thank you for watching. Let me know about this brand. If you've used it, if you've heard about it, if you know somebody who did, if they liked it, if you liked it if it caused your skin problems and keep in mind i do have problematic skin and so it may work well for some people and not for others and that's with any product i'm about to babble i'm going to go thank you for being here and you will see me and i'm sure my forever bags in the next video thank you bye